Let's take a look at how to add and subtract decimal numbers up to two places. They asked us to add and use the same number of decimal places throughout. 0 0.8 plus some number is equal to 3.9. Well, to figure out what the missing number is, we can work backwards. If we know the two together added up to 3.9, We can start with our 3.9 and subtract the first number that we know, 0 0.8, and that should give us an answer of what the second number must have been. Now, when you're adding or subtracting with decimals, make sure that you're lining up the decimal point to make sure that your place value is lined up correctly. And then you can subtract the numbers in each place value. So in the tenths place, right, that's the first place after our decimal point, we're going to subtract 9 minus 8, which leaves us with 1. In the 1's place, we have 3 minus 0, which leaves us with 3. So we get 3.1, so the missing number must have been 3.1. 2.7 plus some number is equal to 6.0. Well, again, if we know some number was added to 2.7 to give us 6.0, we can work backwards and say 6.0 minus 2.7 and see what that leaves us with for the missing number. Just like before, I'm going to make sure to line up my decimal points. And then here, since I would have 0 minus 7, I'm going to borrow 1 from the 1's place. And I'm going to think of that as 10 minus 7, which gives me 3. Since I changed this to a 5, I now have 5 minus 2 in the 1's place, which also gives me 3. So 3.3 must be the missing number. Two point four plus what number is equal to 6.8? Well, let's subtract. If we wound up with an answer of 6.8, and I subtract the first number that I added, that should leave me with the difference or what was left for the second number. Lining up those decimal points, subtracting the numbers in the tenths place, 8 minus 4 gives me 4, 6 minus 2 gives me 4. So it must have been 4.4. What number plus 1.9 is equal to 6.4? Let's subtract 6.4 minus the one number we know of 1.9 should tell me what was left for the second number that they added. Lining up the decimal points, I'm going to have to borrow from the ones place. And now I can think of that as 14 minus 9, which gives me 5. 5 minus 1 in the ones place leaves me with 4. So 4.5. 3.5 plus what number is equal to 7.5? Well, this one we might be able to do some mental math because notice the tenths place did not change, right? They're both 0.5, so I must have added a whole number. Well, to get from 3 to 7, which one of these whole numbers could you add? Well, 3 plus 7, or I'm sorry, 3 plus 4 would give me 7. So our missing number must have been 4. 0 0.8 plus what number is equal to 4.6? Well, let's subtract. If we know our answer was 4.6, let's subtract our 0 0.8 and see what was left for the other number. So we're going to line up our decimal points. I'm going to borrow from the ones place. So I can think of this as 16 minus 8, which gives me 8. And then 3 minus 0 is 3. So 3.8. 2.6 minus 1.3 equals what number? Well, you can simply line this up. 2.6 minus 1.3, lining up our decimal points and then subtracting the numbers in each place value. In the tenths place, 6 minus 3 is 3. In the ones place, 2 minus 1 is 1, 
So we wind up with 1.3. Four point eight minus four point three equals what number? Well, again, line up your place values. Four point eight minus four point three. Let's line up our decimal point. In the tenths place, eight minus three is five. In the ones place, four minus four is zero. So we wind up with zero point five.